Well, everyone, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is still one of the more interesting phones that Samsung has made. I think it holds up very, very well in this day and age. And although it may not be the first phone I'd recommend people to buy anymore, considering the S23 Ultra is out, and this phone is just such a massive phone and it's overkill for a lot of people, I still think this is a very, very good phone that a majority of people should consider buying just because it's that good of a device. So if you want to pick it up, links will be down in the description. You can get it from there. You can help support the channel at the same time. Now, the outside of this phone, not much changed since my early 2023 review of this thing. We have a 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display. It's a very good display, still one of the top displays out there. And even when I look at this phone today, I mean, it still looks like a beautiful phone. The S23 Ultra doesn't look that much different than this thing. So you're still in really, really good hands with this type of device. You're getting a USB Type-C charger on the bottom. You're getting an S Pen with this phone as well, which is a really, really nice touch that you can kind of use as a stylus separately. And on the back, you have this frosted glass back with like this quadruple camera setup thing. So I definitely do think this type of device still looks very good. I think it looks beautiful. And as I mentioned, I mean, there's not really that much to complain about when you're getting a device like this, which is really, really awesome. The camera on this thing too is really good still. I mean, you have the ability of doing 8K video on the back, 4K at 60 on the front. And this type of camera is really, really good. It doesn't really get too much better than this thing, if I'm being honest. So you're able to go ahead and use a camera like this that is still top tier. That's still one of the best cameras out, but you really don't have to worry about things too much, even for the future. A lot of phones still cannot film 8K video and a lot of phones, some budget phones still can't do 4K at 60 on the front. So this thing, the flagship from 2022 can still hang up there, with, which is really, really good. So this is a great, tremendous phone just from that perspective alone. Now, on top of that, from the software standpoint, it's still a really good software supported phone. This thing's going to be getting a couple more versions of Android, which is great. So for the next couple of years, you're still going to be in really good hands. You're, again, not really going to have to worry about things too much because this type of device is still going to be up there in terms of the performance. And much like I mentioned before, you're really not going to be complaining too much about the performance side of things with this type of device because it's still going to be a really, really good phone there too. Now, in terms of the other side of this phone, so with things like, you know, the features and the reverse wireless charging, still a very, very flagship phone from that perspective. So you, again, you don't really have too much to complain about there, you know, in and of itself. From the performance side, you are still getting that Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset inside and with 8 gigs of RAM on the base model, but it does go up to 12 gigabytes of RAM. Now, funny enough, the phones before this, like the S21 Ultra, I think could give you more RAM with the S20 Ultra. So it's weird that they stem down the RAM models of this phone, but you are still getting one of the best chipsets on this type of device. Although it wasn't the most you know, optimized chipset, it was still a really good chipset at the time. So that was something that was really, really good that was going on with this type of device. And you're still getting a really good, well-built phone from this type of device too. So from that perspective, this type of phone is going to be giving you great performance. It's still a great quality camera with a great quality performance chipset inside. And it's still supported with software, which is awesome. So to kind of sum it up, what I'll definitely tell you is this type of device is still a very, very good device. It's still worth buying and it's still a very beautiful phone for sure. Is it perfect? No, but I think it's really good and I'm a still, I'm still a humongous fan of this device for a fact. So that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well then.